Thousands of people visited the City Foundry STL this weekend. Music, food, and vendors. It was the taste of Black St. Louis. Pepper Baker dropped by to talk to the founder and some business owners about why this event is so important. More than 20,000 people enjoyed the sights, smells, and sounds of the taste of Black St. Louis. Founder Aisha James came a long way from when she started the event four years ago. In 2018, we were one day. This, this year, we are three days, and the other changes, we were in Tower Grove Park, but now we're at Beautiful City Foundry. The vendors have everything from food to retail to informational businesses. And we've grown as far as leaps and bounds by vendors. The first year, we were about 45. This year, we're about 90, almost close to 100 vendors. It's Tynesha Jackson's first year as a vendor. She owns Savory Delights, selling desserts, soul food, pasta, and tacos. I was shocked because the line is long for this to be my first year. This, this, for this to be three days in a row, the longest line. Ariel Biggs owns Young Biz Kids, teaching young people financial literacy and entrepreneurship. She says this event helped her kids see what running your own business is like. It only makes sense so that they can see other, or, other entrepreneurs that can pour into them and then the other entrepreneurs can see them to say, you know what? These kids are going to be the next generation of entrepreneurs. James canceled last year's event because of COVID. This event is one way to help businesses make up for what they lost through the pandemic. This is kind of like a um, stepping stone for people that didn't know about you, for them to know about you. It represents black excellence at its finest and that our kids have something to inspire to. It's beautiful and these businesses, they gonna survive past COVID and that's really what we want them to do, keep surviving. In St. Louis, Pepper Baker, five on your side. The event wraps up tonight at nine o'clock. You still have some time.